what we've got now is we've got people who are in positions of authority, i.e. scholars and imams. And I think when people have these agitations and go to them, what they try to do is they try to still direct them to accept the status quo, but try to uh, uh, rally around creating a safe space in this society for them and their children, which unfortunately isn't going to happen. No, you, you can you can create a safe space. Do you think so? You can, of course. It's very easy. The solution to Islamophobia is so easy. Uh, all that Muslims have to do to get rid of all Islamophobia is just be Muslim in name only, right? <laughs> just do everything that uh, is acceptable within the dominant culture. Uh, you give the example of... Uh, sneezing and then saying alhamdulillah uh, you know just say it hi- silently in your heart why do you have to say it out loud it's not uh, wajib you know it's not followed you don't have to do that so you can always find a scholarly reason you know don't do this don't do that just um, uh, the and, and some of these uh, scholars they're trained enough to be able to know it, what how how you can use the tools and the principles of the sharia uh, to um, meld and mold Islam and the practice practice of Islam as close as possible to what is commonly practiced within the dominant Western culture. 